Scandinavian Bob here. Hi. Today we are going to take a look at an interesting experiment they did on a medical student where they gave him a drug that depleted most of his dopamine for two days. And we are going to take a look at exactly what happened to him and how he felt during this experiment. And since most of you know that excessive consumption of adult websites can also disrupt your dopamine system in your brain, I now want you to reflect on the medical student's experiences here during his dopamine depletion and then see if you recognize any similarities to your own reactions following heavy porn use, especially in the days after you had some, you know, really nasty, intense binges. Okay, so let's call the person here, Mr. M.S., you know, as in medical student. After seven hours, Mr. M.S. felt more distance between himself and his environment. Stimuli had less impact. Visual and audible stimuli were less sharp. He experienced loss of motivation and tiredness. Okay, so right from the start, I have to jump in here and point out that when I first started my own rebooting journey about 12 years ago, one of the first things I could read online from guys who had quit using porn was that a lot of them reported how music had started sounding better for them. And when we look at this, we get a clue why that is. If your dopamine is out of whack, it can even affect things like audible stimuli. Anyway, let's continue with his experiment here. After 18 hours, he had difficulty waking up and increasing tiredness. Environmental stimuli seemed dull. He had less fluency of speech. Again, this is something I recognize from my own porn addiction days. I had very low levels of energy. And yes, I also recognize the speech thing there. After 20 hours, he felt confused. He felt tense before his appointment and had an urge to check his watch in an obsessive way. After 24 hours, Mr. M.S. had inner restlessness, flight of ideas. His ideas seemed inflicted and he could not remember them. He felt a loss of control over his ideas. After 28 hours, he felt ashamed, frightened, anxious and depressed. He was afraid that the situation would continue. Even tremors were noted. I didn't tell you after those last timestamps, but so far I have indeed recognized almost everything he He's experiencing. And I do so with this one as well. I had anxiety and depression and I also had the tremors. So yeah, having a messed up dopamine system can really take a toll on you, <laughs> to say the least. Let's continue. After 30 hours, he was tired and slept for 11 hours. After 42 hours, he had poor concentration. And then as the drug started to wear off in the next hours, he slowly but surely started to return to normal. Okay, and so there ends his experiment. Now, I'm going to ask you to please share in the comment section below if you recognize any of the things he experienced during the dopamine depletion experiment. But before you do, let's sum it up with a quote he shares about the whole experiment. Quote, during increased dopamine depletion, in this case, a range of subjective experiences appeared and disappeared consecutively. These experiences resembled negative symptoms such as loss of motivation, dulled senses, decreased fluency, lower mood, fatigue, brain fog, restlessness, feelings of fear and shame, obsessive compulsive symptoms and anxiety and depressive like symptoms." Unquote. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, so I don't know about you, but I personally recognize almost all of those. How about you guys? Do you think your dopamine system has been affected by all the porn you've been consuming? And if so, which one of these do you recognize the most? Please consider commenting below as people like to read the comments. Now, 
the good thing about all of this is, of course, that when you stop using the porn, your dopamine system will recover and go back to normal, just like it did for the medical student here. And should you need help with this, then you can download my free 90-day no PMO advice and tool guide by clicking on it on the screen right here. Here. And also, if you haven't already, if you're interested in learning more about porn's effect on the brain, take a look at a four-part video series about that. You can see the first part on the screen right here. Just click on that and it'll take you there.